Hi, Herman from Platinum Racing Products, and I know you've been waiting, so here it is. It's an update on our cylinder head and block. Let me talk you through what we've been working on lately and the challenges that we've had. It's been an interesting project. Now, we could have just gone and made a billet cylinder head and a billet block. It's not the direction we wanted to go. We want an OEM style application cylinder head and block that can be mounted into a street car all the way up to 5,000 horsepower. So there's four different cylinder heads that we're working on. You might have read a little bit about it. R0, R1. R0 OEM application, 800,000 horsepower. That's this one. On display previously, we had an R1 prototype. So this is the first head that is going onto our first block in our engine room for some severe testing. Now, after the OEM application, we have the street, and then we go through to the race in the R1 and pro into the R1, up towards 5,000 horsepower. So there's four levels of heads that will come as completely built finished heads, or you can buy them in pieces, castings, unfinished, unmachined. As you can see with this cylinder head, all the combustion chambers are finished. We've done all of our seats, as in the main bores for the valve seats. The ports stay standard. Basically, that's the casting for an OEM or street application. The ports are fine, they flow heaps. So it all comes down to standard sizing valves, which this OEM version has, or you go one millimeter over for the street application. It's pretty well ready to run. Our main tunnels have all been finished. All the bores are finished, port work's finished, all the relieves, most of the oil galleries, couple more to go, and we're ready to run this head and assemble it. So it's really close. We're really happy how it's come out. We're obviously taking our time because we're not getting ready to do one or two heads a week. We're talking mass production stuff. We're hoping to punch out 20 plus cylinder heads a week. And we've got the tooling for high volume mass production. So it has been a little slower, but we wanted to get it right, do all the engine dyno testing, prove it, longevity testing, working very closely also with Kelford cams to provide all the cam packages that will be available. So the block, I know you're all eager to find out when can I have it. All I can tell you is where we're at with this one which is our first R0 block. This particular one has got a R1 sort of version brace on it. This has all been tunnel board. It's ready to go. We've also done the deck work and we've also done all of the cylinder ball work. Got a couple oil galleries to go and we're pretty well ready to run this. This one's an 86 mil ball. We're going to run a standard RB26 billet crank uh, with some IRP pistons and rods for our testing because we want to test our worst case scenario RB26 2.6 litre capacity and give it hell. We've got some pistons to show you here, which are the 90 millimetre pistons, which have just arrived. They're custom made by Italian Rods and Pistons for us with the special two and a half, 2.65 millimetre longer rod. Now we've increased the deck by 2.65 millimetres to allow for the longer rod to give us a really nice conrod ratio in our 90 millimeter bore RB30 short deck. We've got a three liter high revving with a 79 millimeter stroke crank. So high revving, large capacity, big piston, longer rod, 1.55 to one conrod ratio. So we've got the best of all of those worlds to give you a higher capacity, big torque, high revving, and awesome sounding RB28 type sounding RB. This is the new platform moving forward. You don't have to go and do all the mods to fit an RB30 block in your, in your engine bay. Motive Video has done a whole heap of videos on how to get an RB30 to fit into your GTR. We're trying to avoid all that and get everyone to stay short deck block, have the displacement, tick all the boxes. It's gonna be awesome. So that's where we're at with that. Hopefully within a week or two, We'll have this all built. I'll build this engine myself. We're gonna get it onto our engine dyno, which you're about to see, start punching out some really good content. And fingers crossed, we get it right. First time, and if we don't, there's a second and a third and a fourth, but I think we're very confident that we've got it right the first time here, but we've got to prove it. So keep watching. Okay, now that you know everything there is to know about the RB block and head and its development so far, we ask you to put down your $100 deposit. This is not a money grab. All this is going to do is allow us to understand the demand so that we can organize our production runs and make sure that we've got everyone catered for and how big those numbers that run through the factory are. It's for us to be organized. They are big production runs. We're gonna cater for everyone to make sure that you're not waiting months and months. Once we release, we're gonna be pumping these things out. Last of all, Thank you for your continued support in our brand to help us develop the RB platform. The more you spend, the quicker it'll go. In all seriousness, 
We do appreciate all of your help and we will continue to keep putting back into this industry to make it better and more efficient for you.